we're going to have to make a decision about human nature to wit is this our home to be cherished and nurtured an incredible pearl flung out in a universe of ashes and darkness or is this a hell world a tiny confining prison at the edge of a dying universe from which it is our destiny to break free and recover our higher and hidden nature from which we have become separated. You know, this is a choice which as a culture we face. Are we to go into the divine imagination and create you know, starships the size of Manitoba that will ply between here and Andromeda and exist in a world of our complete syntactical self-expression? Or is man's place humbler than that? Is that grandiose, steeped with megalomania, touched with the kind of uh, political taint that's had us raping and pillaging ever since we got out of those miserable ice-bound villages in Jutland or wherever it was. <laughs> is it that? Or is it our challenge and our destiny? It's really a choice about human nature. As individuals, and I guess this is really, for you personally, maybe what makes this all important, as individuals, we have been too willing to be taught and led when what is really out there to blow your mind is not some regurgitation of previously achieved conclusions, but experience. The world is far weirder than the maddest among us suppose. This very small flute theme called bohemianism just will not die in Western civilization. You know, it's always been there. It was there before rave, before punk, before rock and roll, before jazz, before uh, the impressionists, before the romantics, back, back, back. There was always this strain of dissent because it's the lifeline of sanity. And every time the bastions of bullshittery grow weak, the bohemian thread expands its options, offers itself as an alternative. And I don't think this is an, an eternal dance of frustration. I think eventually this archaic return, which is what this bohemian thing has always represented, will be felt, will be heard. We have very little time now if I believed that salvation had to come from political institutions, I would just throw up my hands in despair. It's very hard for people sometimes to figure out whether I'm an optimist or not. <laughs> Let's get something straight here. I am the most optimistic person you have ever met. I'm absolutely convinced that there is nothing wrong and that nothing can go wrong and that nothing will go wrong and that if something needs to be done you will find yourself doing it.